Hey you guys, I'm excited. I'd like to introduce you a new model. Um, this is fourth generation Model D. Uh, this is a basic model, uh, just like description says. Um, this is the simplest you can get. So I decided to uh, took to take everything out and basically strip strip my pulser to the bare minimum that um, it will require uh, to run this unit um, i didn't didn't take out the safety features in it so i left thermal protection in it and there is a thermal switch on the coil right here and also there is another thermal switch inside the unit so in case um, air gets restricted the unit will switch into safety um, mode and it will turn off the charging circuit for the capacitors um, preventing it from overheating it and same thing will happen if uh, coil uh, gets hot it will sense uh, the temperature here and send the signal over the wire into the unit unit will shut off uh, circuit that charges the capacitors so uh, let me show you how it looks from the back this unit operates up to 110 volt sorry 120 volt ac only uh, i will be looking and making some changes and adding some more um, voltages so that people from other countries can use it as well but for now it's only 120 volt AC as a power source so pros and cons about this unit I am using the blue capacitors these guys are slightly smaller uh, in capacitance uh, compared to the uh, Panasonic that I'm using in the standard model so these guys are 2200 microfarad and I also have 100 microfarad uh, charging circuit which totals 2300 microfarad and this unit will charge them to 640 volts uh, thus producing around 5 tesla at the surface of the coil so it's uh, just like it says here it's a 5 tesla unit yes it's uh, one of the things that it's not the strongest unit that I offer it's a little bit weaker but in uh, I'd say 95% of the cases it will get the job done just like a uh, 6 tesla unit so let's go uh, very quick over uh, things pros and cons about this unit uh, first of all uh, it's a basic basic model so it doesn't have any power adjustment like i would have on the other model and that's number one uh, all it has when it gets activated it it will start pulsing at 100 percent power and uh, it takes about five to six seconds in between the pulses um, number two it doesn't have manual uh, position so that you can trigger it manually uh, it's only working in automatic mode so that's two minuses minus three it doesn't have a pulse counter so you don't know how many pulses you have gotten um, you just have to manually count it or time it yourself uh, another thing is that um, this is a single 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 coil I am offering some there are double coils so um, it will give you about 10 minutes of use time on this coil and then it will get hot turns off needs to be cooled off for about 20 minutes and then you can use it over and over again um one uh what else is here it doesn't have remote uh fob remote control 
which I use in other standard model to trigger uh, pulses in manual mode. So this unit doesn't have it. It only operates in automatic mode. Let me show you guys. I will um, activate it. I'll turn it on and do a quick demonstration in the power. So there you go. One pulse. Let's see. Another pulse. I think it's visible on the camera how fast the pulse is. And so I have some aluminum foil. It's my previous um, stack of aluminum foils that I use. I can demonstrate how uh, strong the magnetic output out of this unit. And I also will be performing a uh, repel test with one, one LB aluminum weight. So let's uh, give it a quick test. All right. Ah, that was loud. Anyway, and it did hurt my finger. Quite a bit, I should have. Good. So, anyway, uh, I gotta be careful next time. But um, this unit is very strong. You can see how easily it bends 128 sheets of aluminum. God, it hurts. Um, so, that's just a quick demonstration of the. Uh, repel, uh, I mean bend, bend test of aluminum sheets and the next demonstration I will be testing it with uh, something more serious I have aluminum uh, weight that I'm using this one weighs exactly one elbow and uh, I will be placing it over and having the repel test and just um, in just a few minutes so stay tuned all right you guys i have a setup from previous time uh six feet marks all the way to six feet and we'll get it tested so this unit doesn't have manual button for me to activate it so what i will do is i'll go ahead and power it up and stay it back and we will pulse automatically and the first pulse it will will be discharged into the coil and I have aluminum weight one of the aluminum weight and we'll see how far it will get repelled so let's get it tested let's get the unit powered up and get it tested one two three all right about three and a half feet so let's do it one more time Get the unit powered off. Set the weight of the coil. Okay. Stay back. And the count three. One, two, three. Yep, there it was. Around three and a half feet. Oh, you guys one more thing if you haven't subscribed for my channel yet i'll uh, recommend you go ahead and do it because once i hit about 50 subscribers i will be giving away one of these units i will select one of the subscribers a random draw uh, and i will give him one of these units uh, unless he doesn't want to but I highly doubt that. Anyway, uh, this is a chance for you to get your hands on one of these units uh, for free. So don't miss out on this chance and, uh, you know, pass this information on if you uh, have anyone who is really needing this unit. So uh, that's, that's another update.